purpose of this video is twofold. First of all, I want to get rid of this mess under my new table. And number two is I want to show you around my new space that I've moved in a few weeks ago. However, I've now turned it around and upside down. And also, I'm gonna get a second space with exactly that size, which is just outside this door and next to it. And I'm still looking for ideas what to do with it. And also, I would like to give you some insight into what equipment I'm using here in this space. And uh, tell you a little bit about what it is that I do. <laughs> the only question is, can I do it while this all is in use? Because right now I am making this recording with the ATEM Mini Pro, which is connected at my table uh, right here. So I hope I can keep it running. And that obviously is the first piece of equipment that is kind of at the center of my production setup here. It's the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, which uh, you can see on this screen here that currently I've got this camera connected, which is the one up here. And the second one that you're watching through right now. And my cameras are both Sony. The one that I'm using right now to record this is the Sony Alpha 7S III. And the one that's mounted at my table here is the Sony Alpha 6400. I hate it. The more gear you have, the more cables you gotta organize, obviously. So, in terms of audio, I, I use a Rodecaster Pro, which is the first edition of the Rodecaster Pro for probably all my audio recordings. So right now that's also connected. Um, and the microphone I'm using right now, you can see it in the image, is the Sennheiser MKE 600, which of course right now the sound isn't optimal because um, you can hear a lot of other noises. However, my Rode Wireless Go are currently at customer service because they have a problem. So I need to stick to the MKE 600. There is one thing about gear that really concerns me. And maybe, maybe you know what I mean. So. Since I, that wasn't good. Since I currently really turned this place upside down and install some new gear and also bought some new things. I always think about what this this per perfect setup does to my creative process. Because I think that the more the more perfect the setup gets, the less creative I am. So, what's the home there? And you probably know that 
learning from other creators, learning from filmmakers, from podcasters. What you mostly get is, mostly get, is gear talk. So they will talk about the gear that they use and then recommend what they use for specific purposes. And kind of, kind of what I'm doing right now that I talk about the stuff that I've installed here. But, you know, talking about gear is easy. And buying gear, of course, is also easy. Because all you have to do is, well, you have to spend some money on this stuff. But that way you don't talk about the craft, you know? You don't talk about what it means to actually tell a story. What it means to use all that stuff to turn this into a masterpiece. And so that's the reason why I normally don't talk a lot about gear. Simply because I don't think that it makes the difference. It doesn't make the difference that you need to create this magnificent thing. That's why I also don't have any affiliate links in my videos. Simply because, yes of course, I can recommend the things that I use and every once in a while, like today, I will also tell you what it is that I use. However, that's not what makes the difference. I think it's actually the other way around. The more gear you have, the more it maybe stands in your way. The more this will in fact limit you in your creative process. Because every time you want to make something, you will feel like you have to bring it all. You have to take it all with you to create the thing that you want to create. Okay, now it's a little mess. <laughs> it's a little less of a mess. Even though there are still some cables flying around. But I think for now, I'm happy. And then for some reason, my cable somehow decided to disconnect my <laughs> Rodecaster Pro cable, which is why I'll do a little bit of a voiceover just to talk about the rest. Now, there are still some cables left now here that you can still see, but I'm using those for this recording. So that's why they are still visible. It's interesting to watch myself doing this and comment on it. This is my main production setup now that I use for podcasts, for video recordings, which is at my standing desk. But I already said that I kind of get bored with these things after a while, so probably I won't use it too much or try not to overuse it. Now when you look into that direction, this is another view that I can use that I already used in another video, which I really like because it's still quite flexible and you can play a lot with the lighting here. So I really love this view. So that's the small tour of my studio. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, there's still a second room like this that I can use from the beginning of next year. So stay tuned. I'm pretty sure there's a lot to be done from here.